Hello everyone, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Uh, this is Tropical Fun. Uh, last time around, well, I was, uh, well, messing about with uh, rails and stuff, right? Okay, so I got this uh, interhub connection thing partly uh, plumbed in last time. Uh, I stopped the uh, tracks over here. Now, what I need to do is collect the uh, products from these uh, here farms and this here mine. And uh, this here mine. So that's um, uh, several uh, things here. And what I'm going to do, uh, just to do something different, is I'm going to do this with a uh, truck station. But I'm going to need to connect that to my cargo backbone. So... I'm going to stick a cargo station in, uh, a, um, uh, yeah, one of those. It's going to need two, uh, no catenary, uh, and it's going to be a long station, and I'm going to stick it in right about here. Um, so it's going to... Uh, where am I going to stick it exactly? Well, I can stick it right about here and not interfere too much with anything. So, I'll stick it there. Now, uh, this is going to be the... Uh, well, this is going to be We'll call it the Tempe Farm Hub. Yeah. Um, also, um, I need to... Um, what do I need to do here? Um, I need to um, configure the station with uh, extra length on the um, platform so it matches the others right? Um, nope, platforms. Uh, so if I do that, that gets me the same length as all of them. Okay, now, uh, now what I should do is uh, plumb the, uh, the remainder of the trackage in. Uh, no catenary on that either. Um, go. Uh, yeah, so we do that, and then this here needs to uh, come in along here as well. Uh, so, um, yeah, yeah, this will uh, this will work. I suppose I could start the clock running as well. Um, now uh, I need to get this track past this station here. Now I think. I think maybe, I think maybe over. So uh, that's gonna gonna need uh, one, two, three. I think it's gonna definitely need four. Uh, so we'll uh, see if we can get it over here with this and level. Um, yeah, we'll we'll try that. Um, okay. Uh, that has, okay, that's got it at ground level. Okay. Now, I need to get this to, uh, come down to snap in, say, about there with one of those. Yeah, I think that works. Good. Um, yeah. Okay, well that'll get us over the... Uh... Yeah, I think that works. Uh, and then I need to come down here and uh, link up with the tracks there. Uh, okay, yeah, this is working. Okay, now, oh, this is uh, 
a much longer down oh it's not gonna it's not gonna snap um well it can get down if it goes that far so i'll uh, snap it in here and then we'll come along like this yeah yeah okay and we'll do this okay so this will definitely uh connect up um that's not working uh okay now what do i need to do here i need to actually grab the track okay it doesn't want to snap uh that's part of the problem uh i haven't figured out why that happens it's obviously a uh bug somewhere in uh, in the way things operate uh, it's probably related to the terrain um but it's not entirely um clear now uh it's also not all that much of an actual problem now this definitely probably should get a bridge so i'll I'll, tr I'll come back and do that after i connect the track up um okay did that actually snap the whole way it looks like it did uh right okay so we're um we're doing our thing here uh now we have the track connected uh now i'm going to take this out and uh, put a uh, bridge in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to put a bridge in. But I'm also going to relay this uh, this bit of track here to make sure it's all the same level. There we go. Do that. And here. Yep. And this needs to back up one more chunk as well. Just love how cars teleport when you do that. Now, we need a road. Uh, we need a uh, medium country road will do. And we need to go up one, two, th one, two, three is, is enough. Okay. Well, if we back that up. We'll make that a concrete bridge. Is that, are those pillars on the track? Yeah, they are. What if we do this one? Those ones aren't. Okay, yeah, we can go with that one. Do that. Now, do this. No, do this. Like that. Yes. And you, do this. Yeah. Now we have a bridge. Yes, that's definitely better. Uh, okay, because uh, we have the... Uh, the high speed line and the and all of that jazz there now uh what i can do uh for excitement is put some signals on there uh put some signals on there yeah yeah that's going to be the excitement so we'll put signals on here uh get them facing the right way it'll work better yeah, you really, you think facing them the right way works better? Well, yeah. Even if they're two-way, if they're facing the wrong way, they don't do what you expect them to do. Well, I suppose you might have a point there. I only might have a point there. Well, yeah, because, you know, you're you and all of that. Oh, I see. The, we're, we're going there, are we? Well, of course we're going there. You're just blathering to fill up time. Really? That's what that, that that that's what that's what I'm doing. Well, you know it. Uh, you know, don't be a a, a numbskull. Um, right? Okay. Uh, I see. I've got uh, kids playing in my backyard, so uh, maybe I'll need to pause this and uh, and go uh, uh, deal with that. Uh, so I'm going to uh, do that. 
Okay, so it turns out it was just the uh, neighbor's kids, so it's less annoying. But I'll have to keep an eye on them, just in case they uh, do something dangerous. Uh, you know, like uh, tripping on deck supports or something like that. Um, still, uh, if you happen to have children and you have a neighbor, it would be a good idea to uh, have them keep out of your neighbor's yard. Now, the reason I say that is you never know what pitfalls might exist in another person's yard. And those pitfalls could be the angry old man yelling, get off my lawn. That's not me, because that takes too much effort, but uh, you get my point, right? Anyway, um, yeah, okay, so that's got, um, that's got signals banged in. Uh, let's go find a train. Um, well, that one's going the wrong way. Um, they're all going the wrong way. Uh, anyway, let's, um, let's go find a, um, line, manage line. It's going to Laredo hub. We'll add a station. We'll go here and then we'll go all the way up here. And then we'll go all the way back down here and then we'll go all the way back over here. Uh, here. Yes, exactly like that. Right. Good. Yes. Um, right. Uh, so this is going to go to the Tempe hub. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yes. Right. Uh, now, I suppose you think you're so clever having done that. Well, kind of. Um, oh, you started the clock. Yeah, I kind of started the clock. Um, right. Okay, so now what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put a uh, truck station here. Now, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five drop-off points. Uh, you know, you don't necessarily need to have five drop-off points. Yeah, well, yeah, you got a point there. Um, well, the first thing you can do is um, get rid of the uh, station building here. And you can, uh, you know, stick, I don't know, one of those in there. Why over there? Because there's more room there. Oh, I see. Now, you need to go and uh, do one of these. Now, if I put three on one side and two on the other, I get a weird-ass looking affair. Yeah. Maybe not so ideal. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not so ideal. What if you turn it? What if you make it slightly longer so it looks better? Yeah. But what if you do this? Oh, well, that doesn't look so bad. Um, yeah. But do you really need to need one platform for every drop off? Yeah, I do. Um, uh, just because, you know, I'm going to do it. That's why. Now, this is going to be uh, Tempe Farm Hub. This will be Tempe Farm Hub. Yeah. Tempe Farm Hub. Yeah. What? Hello? What's this? Train 149. No path. Reverse. Now you have a path, apparently. Good. Yes. Um, right. Now what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to plumb stuff in. Oh. You're going to delete a road, aren't you? How did you ever guess? 
Well, you know, it seems to be what you've been doing on this whole series. Well, I suppose you might have a point there. You think I might have a point there? Well, what are you doing right now? Well, I'm deleting a roadman. Yeah, see? You kind of established my point. But no. Oh, you're deleting another road now. Okay, now we don't have any roads in the way. Yeah. Um, okay, now you're going to build, um, you know, stations or something. Which are going to have, like... Oh, that's cute. You can build a station with no... Um, right, okay. Put one platform on there. And uh, rotate that somehow. Well, you could do it that way. Well, yeah, you could do it that way because you just did it that way. Um, I suppose you're going to do it over here too. Well, maybe. I'm going to do something like that. And then you're going to stash one of those things in here too, aren't you? Well, how else am I going to um, uh, connect up to a uh, industry, right? So if I stick that in there, and you're going to stick one in here too, aren't you? Well, what did you expect I was going to do? Um, and then you're going to stick one over here. What the? What? Um, you, oh, we have a Graf Zeppelin available. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. So that uh, connects those up. So that's Lincoln Coal Mine. Uh, so I suppose this will be Lincoln Coal Mine then. Well, you suppose right. And this is uh, a Lincoln Iron Ore Mine. Uh, so, oh, I suppose you're just going to rename these things then. Well, I've been doing that all along. What did you expect? So that's Lincoln Farm number three. So this is farm number three. And this is Lincoln Farm. So this will be farm. Farm. And this is Tempe Farm. Okay, Tempe Farm. Yes, now you need to, you know, build a road or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of do, don't I? Uh, right, so first of all, you need to get a road out this way. Well, that's not going to be terribly difficult now, is it? No, no, it probably won't be. Now, you need to get a road coming up. Wait, no. No, what you should do is bring this road up. Um, yeah. Bring it around. And then bring it around. Yeah, that'll work. And bring this one around. Then we can connect this up over here. And, you know, just to have extra fun, uh, we can connect this one around as well. Yeah! Yeah, that uh, connected those up for sure. Um, right. Now, I suppose you want a bridge over here. Well, not that way you're not going to get one. Well, you might get one that way. Bridge pillar collisions. Um, yeah, you don't need it quite that long. Um, what if we do it this way? Okay, we need it a little bit longer so we get a, a pillar. Come on, give us a pillar. Give us two pillars. No. What if we do it this way? Nope. 
Oh, we got two pillars at least. Take it. Okay. Now, you need to do this. I do? Yeah, I kind of do. Um, I suppose you're just going to go around the long way here. Uh, well. No, I'm not. I'm going to do it from here. Okay, you're going to do it from there. What does that get you? Well, uh, what it does is it, um, well, it gives me something to uh, attach this to. Um, okay, now you've put in a bunch of roads. You need to fling uh, some trucks at that. Yeah, I kind of do. So you need to put a depot. Yeah, well, that's not hard. I just did, see? Now, uh, what you need to do is um, go in here, buy vehicles, cargo. Uh, you're going to use the Peterbilt, aren't you? Well, of course I'm going to use the Peterbilt, because I can. And you're going to put what? I'm going to put three of them on each. So I've got three farms, so I need 15 of them. Buy it. Okay, one, two, three. New line. You can go from here to here. Yeah. So this is cargo trucks. L link. Coal mine to Tempe Farm Hub. Yep. Okay. okay. Now you're going to do that. Okay, this is the Lincoln Iron Mine to Hub. Yeah. Good. What's this? Train 130. What? Okay. Go look. What the? What? Why? Hello? Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's take a look at this. Terminals. Why is it... Why is it stopping there? Yeah, why is it stopping there? Uh... Oh! What? Yeah. Okay. Reverse. Reverse. What? Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go in here and do this. Okay, now I can take this out. Right. It was on the wrong platform. Aha. Good, right, yes. Go back to plumbing in your uh, lines over here. Right, yes, I can do that. Yeah, right, good, yep. Yeah. One, two, three, new line, here to here, yeah, lower farm, oh, nice, uh, okay, this is, 
Okay, turn that off. That is Lincoln Farm. Um, link Farm to Hub. Yep. Now fix this. Lincoln. Yeah. Right, now we need two more of these things to uh, stash in here. One, two, three. New line. Here to here. Yep. And this is link farm three to, to a hub. Yep. And uh, yeah. We got uh, those ones, new line, here to here. Uh, and this is Tempe Farm. Yeah, okay. So the, as the game gets later on and you get these better um, um, uh, road vehicles uh, you can do a lot uh, a lot more um, right okay so we got this dude manage vehicle let's um, put a stack more of these on here let's put another stack of those on there let's uh, now let's go for a train ride. I haven't done a just a relaxing train ride for a while, so we'll just go ahead and do that. So uh, I'm gonna, you know, end out the episode on this uh, relaxing train ride. Now that's, um, you know, relaxing in scare quotes, right? Or as uh, the British seem to like, inverted commas. Right. Now, um, the whole, uh, the whole thing here is, uh, you know, just, just to ride the train, see the new track, and all of that jazz. Now, uh, I'm kind of getting to a board point with this, uh, map here. Like you can see a whole bunch of stuff is all connected up and, uh, all of that. And, uh, and it's really just uh, pushing things to get things connected up, and then, then what would we what would we do after this? Well, I would, uh, I would go ahead and uh, make sure that uh, all of the final product uh, factories are connected to towns, so their products could be delivered, and then, uh, then there really isn't much to do other than messing about. Now, the. Uh, uh, I'm not sure uh, when I'm going to uh, put the uh, cut on this series. Uh, it may be a while yet, uh, a few episodes at least. But I do have a new map that uh, I'm, I'm going to start with when I finish this one. And that map I'm going to play a little bit differently. I'm going to do bespoke routes for pretty much everything. Which means... Uh, none of this hub and uh, whatever uh, business here. Uh, I'm going to try and do bespoke routes so that uh, everything's all connected up, uh, you know, uh, so-called perfectly. And I'm going to see if I can uh, get uh, a town growth uh, going on uh, somewhere on the map. Uh, I'm also going to allow m uh, more mods like, uh, you know, uh, the Jolly Green uh, bridge and uh, all of that jazz, right? I'm also going to allow uh, editing the uh, the map a little bit, uh, you know, adding industries or whatever. Uh, but I've got a starting set of industries on the map that uh, is balanced, as in. Uh, for uh, you know, for every factory, there are at, there are exactly uh, enough input factories to keep it busy, and that's uh, that's definitely going to uh, 
make uh, connecting everything up uh, somewhat uh, less um, annoying. Like on this map, things don't balance out quite perfectly, so you'd have some left out industries and so on. Uh, instead, uh, the new game is, uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use the natural town growth mod, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do at least some passenger work, uh, and, and so on, but I'm going to work on connecting everything together, uh, all the industries, and get them at least connected to one town. And that's going to take, uh, a little bit of fiddling. Is the map is not a pleasant map as far as terrain goes. It's it's got mountains, it's got uh, flatlands, you know, it's it's, it's got uh, it's got a great deal of um, of challenge to it. So uh, it, it I think the goal for that one is going to be connect all towns with passengers and connect all industries. Uh, uh, complete uh, you know complete the chain and connect all industries. That's going to be the, the plan. Uh, now, I'm still debating whether I'm going to do a little bit more editing on the uh, series, the next series, or if I'm going to um, uh, continue a uh, sort of raw, uh, you know, let's play setup. Now, I'm, I'm leaning toward the raw let's play. You know, like, let's be honest, it's less work. Uh, you know, and I'm basically lazy. So that that's basically why I'm leaning that way. Um, but uh, that's, uh, that's still a little bit up in the air. So there might be some bits where I actually uh, do some edits. You know, so where I take my time and build something nice. Uh, build something the way I want it. And then, uh, you know, and uh, either give you a time lapse or uh, or a jump cut uh, or a fade uh, I'm, I'm debating that uh, you know and, and I'm gonna try and have more focused episodes where uh, there's a plan and we stick to the plan I'm also debating when to start the clock see I'm thinking that this uh, it might be less annoying to start the clock around 1950 uh, and not have to faff about with, um, well, uh, really slow trains. You know, being able to have the, uh, the diesel trains and whatever uh, soonish and have reasonably fast steam trains and whatever uh, might actually be uh, a little bit less annoying is the early game tends to be a little bit tedious but if the trains are moving faster it's it's not so bad and I'm kind of toying with the idea of uh, trucks for more things as well so if I start a little bit later on uh, it'll be a little easier to to handle some things and that's kind of what I'm thinking might be less boring for for the viewers as well but anyway uh, if you have an opinion on that you know leave a comment or something like that and uh, yeah uh, because you know that that may be uh, that may be a thing right uh, I'm still debating though I haven't made a final choice but uh, you know it's gonna be probably at least another week on this map I uh, I'm going to uh, have to look around and see what I haven't connected up and, uh, you know, see see what I can do, right? Uh, and I might uh, do a little bit of tinkering off camera and see if I can balance some things out a little better or something like that. And then come back with a, uh, a review or something like that. But uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, as I mean, writing this here, it's been, uh, you know, this map has developed uh, fairly nicely, actually. Uh, and we got, uh, you know, trains moving around all over the place and things like that. Uh, this actually looked like, looks like it was a good, uh, good ride to take to, uh, to see some stuff, what's going on.
Yeah. Uh, see, this is the problem with the hub setup, where you've got uh, lots of cargo going all over the place. Uh, and that's why I want to uh, go for a, a more uh, bespoke arrangement of lines. Uh, now, the passenger transport will be a different story. Uh, that, I think the challenge of getting uh, combined lines and so on running is uh, a little less annoying, right? Um, anyway, yeah, we picked up 90 uh, oil, 90 crude, we picked up some food, we picked up some iron, and some logs, so, you know, we're picking up some stuff along the way here, so, you know, there's that. Now, I think, yeah, we're heading for the new, uh, the new, uh, hub that we just put in, so, uh, yeah. Well, that looks a little wobbly here. Um, okay, now we're we're uh, moving along to onto the new the new track that was just uh, brought into service here. There's that new road bridge we put in. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Uh, once I got the uh, pillars not on the tracks. Oh yeah, that uh, that actually went in really nicely. Um, yeah, no overlap at all. That that's kind of good. Uh, that's something that uh, could use some work in the game, actually, is the uh, how bridges are uh, handled. Uh, there really should be some, some logic that uh, waits toward a pillar on either side of any obstacle. Uh, close in, but not overlapping. Uh, I think one of the problems they have is the uh, hitboxes on things aren't specified quite right. So, you know, like, I think the hitboxes are a bit lax. Uh, and uh, that leads to uh, things overlapping when they shouldn't, but I think they've done that to make it easier to place things in tight areas. So it's uh, it's a little hard to, uh, to figure out exactly how you deal with it, but uh, okay, that was going over that uh, road station there. This is actually uh, turning out... Uh, Turning out to have uh, come together quite well. Um, there's another bridge, which uh, did quite well. Uh, oh yes, that's the uh, other uh, truck line. And I see we've got uh, goods waiting here. Oh yeah, this... Uh, this uh, came together quite well as well. Uh, it just kind of works. So we've got, uh, looks like we've got uh, some ore and uh, food here. So uh, we do have capacity to pick some of that up. Um, yeah, we're picking up food, uh, coal, um, Yeah, it looks like we're going to max out the uh, the coal capacity. So our, our uh, hoppers are full, and our tankers are full. Um, yeah, we'll see what we end up picking up at the other end. Uh, now we've got to run through the traffic here, so to speak. Um, yeah, where, where all of the uh, bridges and everything in the town over there in the distance with the skyscrapers, you know, it actually looks quite good. Uh, I, I say what you will about the game. They uh, did did pretty nice with the graphics on it. Uh, but uh, they it, it really could use a performance patch. Uh, there... Uh, there are some uh, issues with uh, performance that could probably be solved somewhat. Uh, certainly improved. 
Okay, we're moving away from the uh, from our uh, friendly uh, passenger line here as we run around the uh, town and miss uh, miss the uh, the traffic in the way there. Yeah. Oh, look, a train. Okay, and then we're going to be uh, heading... Oh, we're crossing a road. Huh, there's a level crossing. Neat. Okay, now we're... Oh, yeah, we're uh, going... Oh, oh yeah, we, we, we joined here to go over a bunch of stuff. Right. Okay, so we come up, we go over a train line, two train lines, and a road by the look of it, yep. Yeah, definitely. Then we, uh, well, then we stay up and uh, we go over the line beside us. Oh, that's, that's right, that was a little bit of a challenge to uh, plumb in. Uh, right, that's a line going to the uh, pickup drop-off uh, hub there, where, while this is headed for the uh, the inter-hub uh, station that's uh, elevated. And that there track is, yeah, okay. So when we come in here, um, good. Uh, oh, there's, uh, yeah. Uh, so there's a, a stack of uh, of stuff here that wants to go back. Uh, we got some steel there. Uh, but mostly, uh, okay, so the flat cars will pick something up. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this, uh, this actually works. Uh, now, this is a, a great way to uh, make a ridiculous amount of cash. And it's not clear that you're not actually just moving the same cargo back and forth. So, uh, okay, so we're picking up, uh, well, yeah, we're picking up stuff on the flat cars, steel and uh, uh, lumber. Uh, we picked up some uh, fuel, uh, some uh, refined oil. And a big stack of coal and uh, iron ore, yeah. So so and some crude. So that's why uh, bespoke lines are a little bit better for trying to balance things. Anyway, uh, let's uh, uh, get out of uh, all of this here, and then we can uh, just uh, let things uh, tick along here. So obviously, uh, this stuff here we need to uh, um, if I was going to actually uh, build this uh, legitimately, I'd probably be uh, uh, adjusting some uh, some platforms and stuff. Uh, any any like what can be picked up where and and that sort of thing, right? Uh, anyway. Uh, that, I think, is going to be it for this time. Uh, you know, we've got some stuff over here that could be connected up. A uh, little bit of stuff there. Uh, you know, a little bit of stuff over here. But, you know... Uh, well, these could be connected by trucks up to here. Um, oh, I see. There's some extra platforms here. I could, uh, I could plumb these in, uh, uh, with the extra platforms here. Yeah. Uh, so that's a possibility, right? Because I think I was planning to bring a line around here and then across here, up to here. I think maybe I was. Uh, anyway, uh, whatever. Uh, I'll uh, f I'll find a project to do ne for next time around, and then uh, 
you know, maybe I'll, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, and maybe I'll, I'll look at, at wrapping up this uh, this particular map and uh, go on with the new one. Because, uh, quite frankly, uh, all of this stuff here, like we've done all of this uh, fiddling around and uh, uh, really uh, things are all nice and uh, busy on the map, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll do one more. Uh, one more episode for sure on this map. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll do another week after that. But uh, for sure, uh, th this map is just about uh, done for now. I may come back to it with some mods or something later. I'll keep the save. But yeah, so uh, I just need to tinker with the new map a little bit more. Get it exactly the way I want it before starting. And then... Uh, Figure out what mods I'm going to use, and then then uh, possibly start that up. Anyway, uh, so that's all for this time. So I guess uh, you know, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And see you next time. <laughs>